A, it's Skip, and then I'm going to teach you how to play a little card game called Boathouse Rummy. This is a great variation of the classic Rummy game for two to four players. Typically, you play for points, but if you want to spice it up, you can play for cash. Grab that pocket change. Let's dive in and learn how to play. All you need to play Boathouse Rum is a standard 52 card deck and a way to keep score. If you want to spice the game up, go ahead and throw in two jokers as well. Set up for the game, determine a dealer, shuffle and deal seven cards to each player. In a two player game, deal 10 to each player. Place the rest of the cards face down and turn the top card over to begin the discard pile. The player left of the dealer begins the round. For this example, our player at the bottom of the screen will go first. During the round, players are trying to meld as many cards as possible within their hand. The first to meld all of their cards will go out and end the round. Before we begin, let me show you what kind of melds you can make. There are two types of melds in this game. The first is called a set. A set is three or four cards of the same rank. In this game, jokers are wild, and you may use one joker per meld. The joker may represent any card that you need. So here we have a set of threes. The other meld that you're trying to build is called a run. Runs are three or more cards in the same suit in sequential order. Notice that aces can be high, as in queen, king, ace. They can be low, as in ace, two, three. Remember, only one joker per meld, no matter how long it is. Or in this game, you can go around the corner, as in king, ace, two. And they could extend in either direction. So you could have jack, queen, king, ace, two, three, or king, ace, two, three, four, five. A player begins their turn by drawing a card, and they have two options. First, they may take the top card from the draw pile, or if they wish, they may take the top card from the discard pile. However, if they do this, they must also draw the top card from the draw pile. So you will know what you're drawing, but you will also have to draw an additional card. For this example, we're going to have our first player take the nine from the discard pile. They will add that to their hand, and because they took the top card from the discard pile, they also draw one from the stock. After a player draws, they then choose one card from their hand to discard. As you can see, this player does have a meld or two in their hand already. One thing that's special about Boathouse Rummy is that you will not put melds on the table. You will continue to play until your entire hand is melded, and this is called going rummy. Play passes left, this player chooses to draw from the stock, they add that card to their hand, and they choose one card to discard. This ends their turn, and play passes. And play continues left with each player drawing and discarding according to need, building melds, and once a player is able to meld all of their cards, or go rummy as it's called, the round ends. So here's an example of what that would look like. We're going to go ahead and have this player take the king and add it to their hand. Because they took that card, they have to draw, and they got an eight of hearts. And they'll add that here. This player is actually ready to go out. So they have an eight, nine, ten, and then a joker, jack, queen, and then a king, 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 and a leftover four. Any card that is not melded is called deadwood. This is the only deadwood the player has. They will end their turn by going out and saying rummy or laying down their cards. This signals that the round is over. Once a player has gone rummy, everybody else must lay their melds to the table. Once all the melds have been separated out, the remaining cards, known as deadwood, are accounted for. The player who won the round, that is the person who went rummy, earns points based on those cards. When determining the score for the round, Numbered cards are worth the value of the number on the card. Face cards are worth 10 points each. Aces are worth 11. And jokers are worth 15. Once the score has been recorded, collect the cards. The deal passes left each round and continue playing rounds until one person has reached a score of 200 points or more. For a longer game, play to 500. The first to reach that score is the winner. And that's how to play Boathouse Rummy. As you can see, it's not too big of a departure from classic Rummy. And if you've already learned how to play Gin or Rummy 500, then you're set up to be able to understand these rules very easily. Thank you so much for watching. 
If you would like to support the channel, the best thing you can do is hit subscribe, thumbs up the video, leave a comment. All of those things are simple, but they really do help me out. Thank you again for watching. Until next time, keep on playing.